I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. See, you said that, that all you see is violence of movies and stuff on TV. And where are those good old fashioned new shows on which we used to rely? Lucky is there is a broadcasting team. Lucky there is a broadcasting team. I you rely to get news! Glory! Glory. One day there's a girl in the glory car. Ain't you supposed to be on a diet? <laughs> Selma is now for every man, woman, and child. The president doesn't want us to march. But we must march! Mr. President, people are dying. You can do it. Do you hear me? But we cannot wait any longer! Never wish we could go back. What happens when a man stands up, says enough is enough? Eyes on the prize, Martin. Now the war is not over. White, black, and otherwise. We need you to stand with us. I heard about our brothers and sisters struggling and couldn't just stand by. Cry glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Our freedom will soon be upon us. His truth is marching on. In Super Bowl 49, the reigning Super Bowl champs take on the winningest team of the last decade. In Arizona, the NFC champion Seattle Seahawks meet the AFC champion New England Patriots. Nothing needs to be said today. This is where it all counts. This is why we're here. This is why each one of us are here. Huge opportunity, man. We work for it every day. Let's dominate. Let's be focused. Let's play for each other. Let's play together. You know where we want to go. Hawks on three. Hawks on three. One, two, three. Hawks. Seahawks look to become the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowl titles since the Patriots did so in 2003 and 2004. And that is it. The Patriots are going to be Super Bowl champions again. With a Patriots win, Tom Brady would tie Terry Bradshaw and childhood hero Joe Montana for the most Super Bowl victories by a quarterback with four. And the 49ers have won the Super Bowl. Brady is already the NFL's all-time leader in postseason touchdown passes with 49. He will do something no other quarterback in NFL history has done. Start a sixth Super Bowl. Russell Wilson led a Seahawks fourth quarter comeback over the Packers to send his team to the Super Bowl. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got a man. Come on. Come on. Game over. Touchdown. The Seahawks are going back to the Super Bowl. Wilson's ability to beat defenses using both his arm and legs make him one of the NFL's premier playmakers. Russell Wilson, the magician, he has been spectacular tonight. Brady and Wilson will be tested by two of the NFL's top secondaries. Seattle Legion of Boom. The Legion of Boom allowed the fewest passing yards in the NFL this season. Opponents average just 186 passing yards per game. Holy catfish! The Legion of Boom, they do it again! I ain't never seen a quarterback who can deal with the LOB. If one player can deal with the LOB, it's Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski. Tell me a team right now that can stop him when 87's healthy. I don't think there is one in the league right now. Gronk makes his biggest impact over the middle. 
where the Legion of Boom's biggest hitter, Cam Chancellor, will likely be waiting. And that's what makes those receivers think later on in the ball game when they take those type of hits that, uh-oh, that number 31 might be lurking around here. I might not want to catch this. Patriots fans feel their shutdown corner is on an island of his own. Nobody's defended more passes since 2007 than Darrell Rivas. In eight career playoff games, Darrell Rivas has intercepted three passes and defended seven more. Lobs a throw near side, picked off by Darrell Rivas. Too far! Both the Patriots and Seahawks may have to rely on their bruising backs to carry the offensive load. Regular season, Marshawn Lynch led the NFL in rushing touchdowns with 13 and finished fourth in rushing yards with just over 1,300. Patriots running back LeGarrette Blunt is coming off a 148 yard, three touchdown effort in a win over the Colts. Between two defenders, touchdown, Patriots! Blunt force trauma! has returned to the playoffs. The man Patriots head coach Bill Belichick took over for in New England is the one he'll be matching up against on Super Bowl Sunday. Pete Carroll was the Patriots head coach from 1997 through 99, compiling a 27 and 21 record. Great job down here, buddy. <laughs> the Seahawks look to join an exclusive club of repeat Super Bowl champions while the Patriots look to revive their dynasty of a decade ago.